I'm Perryman Wright. And I'm Rihanna Stowes, and we are here at the Veterans Memorial Stadium for the whiteout game. This is the first game of the season as the Jackson State Tigers take on Alabama Hornets. Now, after last year's loss in the SWAC championship, the JSU football program has made a complete turnaround entering the 2013 season. And you know, last week, JSU fell to Tulane 34 to 7. So if they want to be in the running to win the SWAG championship this year, they're going to have to beat Alabama State. So this is going to be a very crucial game. Now quarterback Clayton Moore and running back Ra Raheem Sims is back practicing with the team last week. And they missed two lane games due to injuries. Sims seems to be in full speed and Moore's arm is back to normal. So this will be an exciting matchup. And you know, besides um, Moore coming back, we also have the SWAG Defensive Player of the Year. We have Quay Cox. So between Quay Cox, uh, Clayton Moore and we have Joshua Carwell. We are going to do really good today. Now, I don't know who's going to win, but let's just keep our fingers crossed for the Tigers. We have our starting running back and our starting quarterback back in action, so this will be an exciting matchup. I mean, both teams are just loaded with talent. Great coaching staff, so this will be a game to watch. So, Tiger fans, sit back, relax, enjoy the game, and we'll be here all day covering everything from fans in the stands to halftime performances. We got this covered. And this is Before the Whistle. All right, now the score is 21 to 17 going into the second half. The Tigers got out to a slow start, but quickly caught back up. Now, in the first half, the Alabama State Hornets actually got the ball first. They won the coin toss. And within four minutes, they had scored two touchdowns. But the Jackson State Tigers, of course, picked it back up and got it together. Going into halftime, Pendleton scored within 21 seconds of going into the halftime. So the Jackson State Tigers are definitely on fire. Clayton Moore, um, Tommy Gooden, Quay Cox, they're all doing a fantastic job. So keep, the, keep up the good work, Tigers. And I tell you, Moore and Pendleton are really on fire. I'm just really looking forward to what they're gonna do in the second half. And so now we're gonna have a little bit of fun. I'm gonna kick it off to Chris as we do a little bit of fans in the stands. Move <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, you heard it here first. Move those chains. You already know what it is. We are in the stands with the fans, man. Jackson State University fans, that is. We are not over there with that black and gold because we don't believe in that, all right? No, no. We don't believe in it? No. All right, who going to win the game then? JSU. JSU. They didn't took out. This is all not. Oh, he a hater. He a hater. Jackson State, man, you already know. They crunk. They own it every time. <laughs> Outstanding game played by the defense and offense. I mean, Zachary Pendleton with two touchdowns, Tommy Gooden with one, Clayton Moore with one rushing touchdown. This is just an amazing. Yeah, so I'm very proud of the Tigers. I think that this is going to be an amazing season. I'm looking forward to JSU going to the SWAC championship again this year. And once again, 
I'm Rihanna Stowes. And I'm Perryman Wright. And this has been Before the Whistle. Okay, so right now we are here with one of the key players of this game, Rakeem Sim. So tell me how you feel about the game today. I felt like it was a very important game. We needed this game to go to the championship, so we come out here and do what we always do, and just ball out, you know, control the clock, and we came out with the W. And you know, you was on fire today. What's your secret? Uh, just to come out, you know, knowing that I'm going to play well, don't have any bad thoughts in my head, just go out here and play. And just, um, how did you feel about your quarterback today? Oh, Clayton played really well tonight. Um, even though he just came out the back injury or whatever, but I think he's 100 now, so he played really good. Anything you guys need to work on um, before you guys play Tennessee State this weekend, next weekend? Um, yeah, I think we just need to get in shape, a little bit more in shape, but that's all. Though. Everything else is fine. All right, and good game to you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Now we have a treat for you. We have a former Tiger football player, wide receiver. So what's, what team are you playing for right now? Uh, well, I was on the Chiefs. I got cut uh, a week ago, so they supposed to bring me back, but uh, not someone else picking me up, and we'll see where it goes from there. Well, I have no doubt that somebody's going to pick you up. So, you know, coming to the Jackson State game, how did you feel like, you know, the atmosphere? And did you kind of miss it a little bit? Oh, I definitely miss it. Uh, I was telling my home, my uh, friends before I came up here uh, that I wish I could be back out on the field. I wish I would have took my red shirt now. Uh, I mean, it felt awkward being in the stands, but I was out there supporting my uh, teammates, old teammates, and uh, it's a good feeling to see that W up on the board. Right. We definitely do miss you on the team. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in today.